Okay, Ron, one more time. Here's 6.2, the third axis, on 3, 2, 1. Well, it's about time you selected this. This is going to get you into the third axis. I swear to you, we'll build the foundation starting here. So the first thing I want to do is to make sure that you are in a blank drawing. So go ahead, open up the uh, the AutoCAD blank drawing file that you'll see uh, in the Soft Tutor um, directory. Soft Tutor example, you'll see that we put a blank drawing. There's nothing in there. And just go ahead, do an open. Uh, second thing we want to do is go to the view pull down and I want you to go to 3D viewpoints southwest isometric. Now we're using the pull down but remember we did discuss this on the CD. I would encourage you to do a search for where to find the toolbar. Go ahead and select southwest, uh, the southwest isometric and once again you'll see that the XY axis has been uh, rotated. So we're going to show you how to use this third axis and uh, what's, what's available and what you can do. What I'd like to do for you to do next is to select this rectangle command. Go ahead and click it with the left mouse button. Move your cursor onto the screen. You notice how your cursor has now rotated to accommodate the plane, the two-dimensional plane defined by this UCS icon? All right. Touch a point where you want to begin. Move your cursor. And notice how this rectangular shape, it's a surface, it's actually going to be oriented towards the UCS icon that you see displayed in the lower left hand corner. Go ahead and just touch anywhere you want. When you use the third coordinate or the third axis, you then, then have to specify a value in the Z. So as an example, let's say we wanted to draw a line. Alright, we select the line command. It's going to ask us from point down here in the bottom. So we're just simply going to get the end point. I'm just going to do a shift right mouse button, select end point, and I'm going to jump down here to this end point here. Now you see my lines actually coming from this corner. So when it says two point, I'm going to type in an at value. I'm going to say zero comma zero comma because the first one is x, second one is y. You've been used to that for a long time. The third one is your z value. Now how do you know if you're going in a positive direction or the uh, the negative direction in the Z. Well, you know what? You've always heard this right-hand rule where you're, you've got your, you know, if you put your right hand in front of your face, your thumb is a positive X, your first finger is the uh, positive Y, and then your, your third finger, your, or your middle finger, is actually the positive Z. Well, I don't know about you. I've always had problems visualizing that. So I'm throwing that away. I think that's been used by the right-handed people too long. Let's get our left-handed people uh, an opportunity to, to get some better uh, tools here. All right, this is the copyrighted left-hand, Mike's left-hand rule. Are you ready for this? All right, look at the UCS icon in the lower left-hand corner. Okay? All right, stretch your hand right in front of you. Don't worry about someone looking at you next to you. Don't worry about it. They have no idea what you're doing, right? But if you stretch your arm right, right in front of you, and just close the rest of your fingers. Just leave your thumb and your first finger of your left hand extended outward. And what you're going to see is that your thumb is the positive X. Your first finger is the positive Y. And your left arm is always going to be the positive Z. What I like about using the left hand is that no matter what you do, you cannot move your arm in any direction. As long as you're pointing your thumb towards a positive X and your first finger in a positive Y, your arm will always be the positive Z. All right? Well, that in mind, we want to come straight up. All right? So we're going to go in a positive Z direction. So I want you to type in uh, that at 0, comma, 0, comma, and let's go ahead and put down uh, 2. And go ahead and do an enter. Now, cancel this with the right mouse button, and you notice how this line came straight up in the Z axis. Let's try it one more time. Let's do a copy command. Go ahead and select the copy command right down here. And again, if you don't know where to find this toolbar, you click the right mouse button. And there you'll see some of the modify tools. You can select that. And of course, we're just going to close it. Now, when we select copy, so let's, it says select an object. So we're going to select this object here. Touch the right mouse button. It's asking us for a base point. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to do a shift right mouse button. Let's select the end point. Locate this end point. 
Now, we know that we can all always come up here and snap to this endpoint. But what I'd like to, like to try to do is to get you to type in the value again. Go ahead, type in an at, 0, 0, comma. Remember, if you extend your left hand out, your thumb is a positive X, the first finger is positive Y, and your arm will naturally follow. All right, you're going to go back in the positive Z direction. So you're going to type in 2, do an enter, and notice how it placed that copy right on top. What do you think so far? I'm telling you, well, this is just the beginning. We're going to show you how to really work in that third axis and how to use it to your advantage.